Warning, the player selections you're about to see may flop miserably. FPL TV cannot be held responsible for any of your own transfer shockers. Please, FPL responsibly. Hey guys, and welcome back to The Point Predictor, the series where I predict five players that I think will score points in the upcoming FPL game week. I can only choose one player per club, and I must follow the category shown on screen. Before making my predictions, a quick word about OneFootball who have kindly sponsored this video. The world's best football news app is now even better, relaunching with a fresh new design. Gain access to news, scores and stats from leagues all over the world with a brand new interface that's cleaner, simpler and smarter than ever. As for FPL, you can follow each team in the Premier League and get live updates from all the goals and assists every game week. Download it for free using the link in the description box below. So last week saw another respectable game week for the point predictor with three out of five correct selections. It was Jack Grealish who didn't come through and I think that early injury to Ross Barkley certainly affected Villa. And as for Jamie Vardy, well despite Liverpool having those injuries they were completely comfortable against Leicester. Chilwell, Calvert-Lewin and Fernandez all continued their good form though and it was nice to have a few double digit hauls in the point predictor last week. So let's move on to game week 10 now and see who I think could be in the points this weekend. For my defensive pick in game week 10, I've gone for Kyle Walker. To be fair, I'd have rather chosen Ruben Diaz or Jao Cancelo in this slot, who at 0.5 million cheaper than Walker are arguably offering us a bit more value in FPL. However, because Diaz and Cancelo both played in midweek, and with Kyle Walker getting rested, I'd say that gives us further assurances of his starting place against Burnley. And for the purpose of the point predictor, I'm trying to be sure that my selection doesn't get benched. Regardless of who starts for City in defence this week, I'm simply backing a clean sheet here against Burnley. The Clarets are still the lowest scorers in the division so far, joint bottom with West Brom only managing four goals. They're also rock bottom for shots inside the box on 41. So in a game where City will, as per usual, dominate possession, it's hard to see Edison in goal having much work to do in this fixture. My budget midfield pick for game week 10, below the price of 8 million, goes to Diogo Jota. At Wolves, I was a huge fan of Jota, but upon signing for Liverpool, even I didn't expect him to have this kind of impact so soon. And considering what a mainstay the front three of Salah, Mane and Firmino have been, it's not an easy starting eleven to break into. Since his league debut in game week three, no midfielder below 8 million has had more big chances than Jota, with five. In this time, he's also top for goals amongst budget midfielders with four, joint level with the very popular Jack Grealish. And this is even more impressive when considering that three of Jota's seven appearances have been from the bench. Simply put, he's level for big chances and goals with Jack Grealish, despite playing over 200 minutes less. Notably, Jota was rested during the Champions League game in midweek and now looks set to start against Brighton, a side with just one clean sheet in the last seven games. My midfielder of any price this week goes to Bruno Fernandes. After his 17-pointer against Everton in game week 8, the United talisman was superb once again against West Brom. Granted, his 11-point haul did all come from that retaken penalty, which you could argue was pretty fortunate, but his overall display was still deserving of these points and more. In that game against West Brom, Fernandes created 6 chances for his teammates. No player created more in game week 10. The midfielder then went on to continue his superb form with another two goals in the Champions League in midweek before being subbed early. It's Bruno's goal involvement that is really outstanding this season too, where in 13 league games, Fernandez has had a hand in nine of them, and this 70% goal involvement is the highest amongst midfielders. For the budget forward pick for game week 10, below the price of 8 million, sorry viewers, but it's going to have to go to Calvert Lewin once again. Providing he keeps scoring, there's simply no point in selecting any forward below 8 million that isn't Calvert-Lewin right now, whose run of form is simply incredible at this point, returning FPL points in all but one of the nine game weeks so far. Interestingly, his price has now shot up to 7.9 million, so I figured I'd better select him now in this category before he eventually reaches 8 million and then forces me to select someone else in future point predictors. Everton face Leeds in game week 10, and despite me being very impressed with Leeds in general, they are a side that have conceded 17 goals this season. Only Fulham and West Brom have conceded more. 
Everton as well have a very poor defensive record in recent games, so this one could be a high scoring affair and hopefully it involves Calvert-Lewin getting returns. For the forward of any price this game week, I'm going to give another run out to Jamie Vardy, who does have a much nicer fixture than he did in last week's episode. Vardy and Leicester face Fulham in game week 10, and on paper it does make him an outstanding option. Fulham are still currently ranked as the league's worst defence to begin this season, conceding 18 goals in 9 and therefore an average of 2 goals conceded per game. The stats show they haven't been unlucky to concede this amount of goals either, because notably they've also conceded the most big chances on 23. On the other side of things, Jamie Vardy has had the most big chances of any player in the league, with 13, so this matchup looks to be shaping up nicely for the Foxes' hitman. Looking at the way Fulham defended against Everton last time out, and how much space they gave Calvert-Lewin, it's hard to see Vardy not getting some clear-cut chances of his own in this game, and I also think the return of Castagna can be a big boost for him. And that wraps up my point predictor picks for game week 10. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if so, be sure to leave a like and most importantly get subscribed to FPL TV. You can also hit the notification bell so you always know when a new video goes live. Good luck to all of you watching for game week 10, FPL responsibly and I'll catch you all next week.